What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, back with another video today. For today's video, we will be taking a look at the highly anticipated signature shoe for Travis Scott from Jordan brand, the Jumpman Jack TR. So as far as the packaging for this shoe right here, you do have this brown box right here. Now this box is overly heavy in my opinion. It is a very thick cardboard and there's nothing in this box right now and it's extremely heavy. Um, as far as what you're getting on the box, you do have those three lines, the Travis Scott logo. On the one side, it does say Jack, the same on the other side. On the side of the box, it does say Jumpman. And when you do open up the box, it does have a red interior. Now, as far as the tissue paper inside of the box, you do get a white tissue paper right here that does have a sticker that says, the Jack graphic will wear off with use over time. Now for that, they are talking about the Jack graphic on the bottom of the shoe. They are saying basically that this will wear off with use. So that is something to note. You also get some brown tissue paper inside the box. Now you do get a pretty cool accessory right here with this tote bag. This is a canvas material. It does have drawstrings right here with red tips. And then obviously on the front, you have a Jumpman logo and the Travis Scott emoji right here. So very cool as far as the bag that you do get inside the box with the Jumpman Jack TR. You also get four sets of laces. You get three extra sets right here, a cream, a brown and white speckle, and a brown solid lace. And then obviously in the shoe, you do get a white lace. So starting with the shoes themselves, starting with the outsole, you do have this rubber kind of gum outsole, definitely a clean look and something that will stand out from afar. At the bottom of the shoe, like I mentioned, it does say Jack and that sticker in the box does mention that this will wear away with use over time. So that is one thing to note. If you are going to wear these a ton, you will expect that jack to wear off with use. Now moving your way up from that, that rubber sole does wrap up on the lateral side and a bit here on the medial side as well. So again, a very clean look with that gum rubber outsole. Now moving your way up from that, as far as the cushioning on the Jumpman Jack TR, you're basically getting a very firm Phylon midsole. It's basically an EVA foam. Once you have this on foot, you actually do get a decent amount of compression underfoot. And then also as far as the insole goes right here, you do kind of have a similar graphic as the outsole, but right here it's kind of in a cream and brown color. So it obviously stands out a bit more. And this insole itself is a dream cell insole. So it will add a little bit of step and comfort directly underfoot. So you have that Phylon midsole and then this dream cell, pretty cushioned insole right here. So obviously you are getting some decent step and comfort. But if I did have to compare this shoe to some of the other shoes on the market right now, I would say it's very comparable to an Air Jordan 1 Low or an Air Trainer 3. They feel more or less the exact same as those two models. Now, as far as the materials on this shoe right here, wrapping all the way around the shoe, you have this very tumbled leather. It's kind of at the base of the shoe, wrapping around the back and on the medial side. And it does wrap up these wings right here that do have the holes punched out for your laces. In between all of the leather, especially at the toe box right here on the side panels and wrapping around the ankle collar, you do have a very durable brown canvas material. It's definitely nice to the touch and something unconventional in my opinion. I think it looks fantastic on the shoe. You also have a bit of canvas running down basically from the midway point of the tongue all the way down. Sitting at the top of the tongue, you do have a brown tumbled leather material. All things considered, in my opinion, the materials on this are very premium in my opinion with the canvas, the tumbled leather on the tongue and basically wrapping all the way around the shoe. And then wrapping at the heel of the shoe, you do have this little collar right here and it is a nubuck material. So all things considered, the materials on the Jumpman Jack TR are a premium touch in my opinion. Now, as far as all the details on this shoe right here, obviously the main detail in this shoe is that backwards swoosh on the lateral side. You do have your standard forward facing swoosh here on the medial side on both shoes, but that reverse swoosh is just such a standout feature and something that we've come to know and love from Travis Scott and all of his collaborations with Nike and Jordan brand across the board. So again, you do have that reverse swoosh and the material on that swoosh is a very nice new buck material. So definitely premium as far as materials go on this shoe right here. 
sitting atop of the tongue right here, you do have a red Jumpman with those Travis Scott three lines on the top of the Jumpman. So a very cool touch as far as the Jumpman logo on the tongue. On the strap right here, you basically have this stitched hieroglyphics logo. So definitely cool as far as what you're getting on the upper of the shoe. And then at the back of the shoe, you have that Travis Scott emoji. And one of my favorite ones across the board is that Jack on the bottom. So in my opinion, there are a ton of cool details on Travis Scott's first signature shoe with Jordan brand. Now, obviously we first saw this shoe on Grammy night on February 4th. And then towards the end of the night, Jordan brand did release them on Travis Scott's website. They obviously sold out right away. As far as the retail price, these will be 200 USD. 260 here in Canada over at Momentum Shop here in Calgary and Saskatoon. So if you are wanting to grab these for the retail price, that's what you're gonna pay. As far as the aftermarket price, these are going for like $1,000 right now. In my opinion, I wouldn't pay that, but the retail price I think is definitely worth the price of admission. Now obviously with Travis Scott, we have seen a slew of Air Jordan 1 highs and lows the Air Trainer 3, and the Travis Scott Air Max 1s. So you do have all of those models. There are some new models that are coming out in collaboration with Travis Scott. But for me, I'm really digging the originality of his own signature shoe. Now, as far as use for this shoe, Travis Scott in his trailer that Jordan Brand did drop, he said this is an everything shoe. You can wear it for sports, for running, for lifting, for casual. For me, this is more of a lifestyle shoe. I don't think you'd want to go running in the shoe or be playing performance sports in his signature shoe because it just doesn't have the cushioning that you would need to perform in them. But for me, I think this is a fantastic lifestyle shoe. And honestly, out of all of the colorways that will be dropping in the Jumpman Jack TR, this dark mocha colorway is definitely my favorite. One of my favorite features on this shoe, all things considered, is the toe box right here. The leather on the toe is kind of wrapped in and it has basically no edges. It's just such a clean look on this model and something that I'm really happy that they did because it makes for a very clean toe box here on the lateral side and here at the toe. On the medial side, it kind of shifts back to the standard cut line right here but it's a very clean look on the toe. Now, as far as the fit goes for these shoes right here, I'm usually a size 10 and a half or an 11. I went with my standard size 10 and a half in these and these fit perfect. I have a little bit less than a thumbs width at the end of the shoe. So I definitely would not go up half a size. If anything, I think you could maybe go down half a size, but if you are a wide footer, I would recommend going true to size because I think you will fill out the toe box of this shoe just a little bit more than someone with a standard foot shape or size. One of my favorite things about this shoe is actually the four foot Velcro strap because you can kind of customize it. I know with the Air Trainer 3, for me at least, I love wearing that shoe with the Velcro strap kind of undone. So you can definitely do that here on this model right here. I think it kind of adds some extra flair to this model right here. So that's gonna do it for today's video on the Jumpman Jack TR, Travis Scott's first signature shoe with Jordan. That's Brand. gonna do it for today's video. As always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that definitely helps the channel a ton. And check out my Instagram over at Sneaker Tech Talk, as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage, and nostalgia as a whole. Again, thank you for Momentum Shop for doing the collaboration here on the Jumpman Jack TR. Check out their Instagram and stick around for the end of the video as there will be an on foot portion of me wearing this shoe right here. Sound off in the comments what you guys think of this shoe. Again, thanks for watching today's video and until next time, peace. Yeah, look, I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, let her ties in the hearse. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired. from my lips filled.